Open the drawing Aquaterra cross sections. On the CGS Labs tab, select the Aquaterra. On the cross section tab, select Draw cross section view. In the Read Terrain dialog box, check the settings. It is possible to change the table type, scale, and define input data. Input data paths should be changed if the layout or profile are drawn in another drawing. Change the elevation value to 20 and confirm with OK. Finally, select the insertion point for the cross sections. To draw TCS elements, use the commands in the Draw TCS Elements section. First, we need to insert the channel. Change channel bed width and channel depth to 2 meters. Change also the slope of the left and right bank to 1. After the channel has been inserted, it is possible to draw the embankments and dikes. Select the embankment command. In the dialog box, set the output type to draw up to terrain line. Unselect Draw in Fill, unselect Step Slope, and define slope to be 1 in 1. Select the elements and the insertion point in the drawing. And the embankment is only drawn on the cross sections where the insertion point is below the terrain line. Now select the Dike command, check settings in the dialog and confirm with OK. Select the element and the insertion point in the drawing. Press Enter to repeat the procedure on the other side. Additionally, we will add the channel lining. To define the lining material, click on the Edit Materials icon. Select the plus button to define a new material. First specify the quantity name. Now select the type, hedge and color. Now we can add a concrete channel lining. Select the command channel lining. Select the material and confirm. It is also possible to edit TCS elements using the Edit TCS Elements command. Select the embankment and change the slope from 1 in 1 to 1 in 1.5. If you confirm, the changes will be applied only for the first cross sections. Select the tick button to apply the changes for all cross sections. Now, repeat the procedure on the left side. Change the slope value and select all of the cross sections. To label TCS elements, you can use tools in the Label section.